All right, so good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? So I'm, 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 I'm sure everybody's heard of basketball, the sport of basketball, or either play basketball, right? All right, so listen, I'm going to teach everybody a valuable lesson through basketball. It's like a life lesson that you can learn. It's not just about basketball shooting free throw, but it's about really being mentally tough when you shoot a free throw, because that's what it takes to shoot a free throw. you got to be mentally tough. I'll take you back to... Uh, <laughs> Where should I put this? Should I put it here? Uh, I think it's going to work better. Okay. Oops, All right, I'm going to take you back to a story back in my hometown, my senior year of high school, when I was playing a game. And uh, throughout the game, I was playing, but I fouled out really early. I didn't foul out yet. I had like four fouls in, like, in the first four quarters. And, uh, it was coming up to like the last. We had we went to overtime, and uh, this is this was this was a playoff game, and I had to, uh, I had the coach shoved me back, and he just said, you know what, this is overtime. Listen, we need you. If you follow out, you follow out. So anywho, long story short, I got back into the game, and uh, I went to. Uh, this is what I did. I used a tactic. I said, listen, if I'm if I'm going to be in a game, and I'm when I want to help my team, how can I do that? So I thought about it. I said, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to make my way to get to the free throw every time. So I'm, I was being aggressive, getting to the free throw line. Long story short, I ended up hitting like uh, 16, for, I went 16 for 17 from the free throw line. I even got that on, uh, I don't have the, uh, it's not up there now, but I got it online. It's in the uh, newspaper in, uh, back at home, the DMV newspaper. I got that online. And, uh, I went 16 for 17 on the free throw line. And uh, also I taught a summer camp where I was teaching kids how to shoot free throws. And the lesson was, like, you have to be mentally tough to be able to shoot a free throw. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have people in, your, in the crowd yelling at you, saying this, saying that. So you got to be able to be mentally tough. And just like in life, you got to be able to be mentally tough. So step one, you want to do, this is most important, you want to find a basketball. You want to find a basketball. <laughs> Secondly, you want to find an open gym with nobody shooting so you can practice. <laughs> Uh, step two, you want to have the right uh, proper hand placement and form. Now this is vital because I've seen a lot of people have some terrible forms and mess this all up. So you want to make sure you have a good form. Number two, when you're shooting your free throw, you want to make sure your eyes are looking at the basket at, at all times. So like when you're dribbling, you're taking your dribbles, we go up and you want to look at the basket. Step three, you want to make sure your feet are set properly straight. Like, Whatever hand, whatever hand you shoot with, you want to make sure that foot is like at the. It's a center. It's a nail on the center of the court. Like the free throw line is spread out like this, and there's a, there's a nail on the center of the court. So you want to make sure your your right foot or even your left foot is squared up. It's, it's uh, right there at the nail uh, uh, on the court, and you want to go ahead and square up. To step uh, step four, you want to go ahead and create your own free throw routine. I'm going to just give you a demonstration. This is my free throw routine. Uh, routine every time I go up to shoot, it's like this. I grab the ball, grab those with the basketball. I dribble twice, one, two. And as I'm dribbling and I, and I dribble, I say my name, Bryson Faison. Bryson Faison. I go up and I shoot. Step, uh, step uh, five, you want to square your shoulders to the basket because you don't want to be right here. If the basket, if the, if the, let's go right here. If the basket is here, you don't want to be right here when you shoot your free throw because you're going to obviously shoot a brick and it's going to be air ball. And the step, uh, this is this is going to be the last step. You want to raise up and shoot like an L form, like when you're shooting, like this. Make sure your arm, or whatever arm you shoot with, you want to make sure it's like an L form. Go up and shoot. So now I'm going to have two people demonstrate my fellow teammate, two, two of them, CeeLo and Tate. I want y'all to come up and demonstrate. Just as if like nobody knows how to shoot a free throw, I want y'all to demonstrate. Here you go, you go. You think you're a good ball. <laughs> <laughs> demonstrate to the class, fellas, how to shoot a free throw. I get two chances. <laughs> I'll show y'all my routine. What I do when I get it is I put the ball in front of me, let it come back, I take three dribbles, on my last one, I take a deep breath in, and I spin it on my hand. And then when I go up, I breathe out. <laughs> All right. We got foul, we got two shots. <laughs> Woo! Hey, there we go. There we go.
my my pre my pre thirty two is generally pretty short. I just step up to the throw, my right foot on the nail. I just take two dribbles and then I shoot it. Yes, sir. And just like in life, sometimes you only get one chance, sometimes you get two chances, and sometimes you get three chances. So how many every chance you get, you just got to take it to the best of your ability and be prepared and be mentally tough for, for, your, for your chances. And I'm done.